Good morning children. Today in social studies we are moving on to a new chapter. Chapter 6 our neighborhood. So what is a neighborhood? You all live in a house. Similarly there are families living nearby your house. So those families who live near you are your neighbors. And the area around your house is the neighborhood. So we learned about neighbors and neighborhood. The people who live near us are our neighbors and the area around our house is our neighborhood. Next let's learn about the landmarks. What is a landmark? Landmark is an important place in the neighborhood. The landmarks are buildings or objects that helps us identify your location. For example you can say that your house is, located, is situated nearby a hospital or near to a shop. So those are the landmarks to identify your house. Similarly, in our neighborhood, there are different landmarks like market, different shops, police station, hospitals. These are different landmarks. Now let's learn about the different landmarks. In this picture, you can see a market. A market is a place where you, where you can buy different things. And in a market, you have different shops also. So now let's see about the different shops that we find in a market. You get to buy different food items or different goods in a grocery store. So the person who sells in a grocery store is called a grocer. So a person who sells things in a grocery store is called a grocer. In this picture, you can see a person selling fruits and vegetables. A person who sells fruits and vegetables is called a green grocer. We get milk and other dairy products from a milk booth. So what are dairy products? Dairy products means we get many items from milk like butter, ghee, curd etc. These are the milk products or dairy products. So where do we get this milk and dairy products from? We get it from a milk booth. You get cakes, pastries, cookies etc. from a bakery. A person who sells these kinds of items like cakes, pastries, biscuits, cookies etc. in a bakery is called a baker. A person who cuts or sells meat is called a butcher. So butcher cuts or sells meat in the market. So what is the occupation of a butcher? Butcher cuts and sells meat. Next we have a fishmonger. A fishmonger sells fish in a market. A person who sells fish is called a fishmonger. We have a stationery shop. What is a stationery shop? A stationery shop is a shop from where we get pens, pencils, paper, etc. that are used for writing. So the person who sells in a stationery shop is called a stationer. We buy medicines from a medical shop. So we get medicines from a chemist shop or we can say it as a pharmacy. So a chemist shop or pharmacy, we get medicines to buy. So these are the different types of people that we find in a market. In our neighborhood, we find a park also. A park people use for playing. They have slides, swings, scissors, etc. to play. Mostly in cities or towns, in neighborhoods, we find parks and parents and grandparents go for a walk in the parks. So these are the different kinds of landmarks that we find in our neighborhood. Next, let's learn about the places of emergency. So what do you mean by emergency? Emergency is an unexpected situation where there is a danger. So when something happens that harms us, needs an emergency situation. So to help us in an emergency situation, there are people like police, firemen, doctors, etc. So now let's learn about the places of emergency. 
a policeman helps us from thieves and other dangerous situations. So where does a policeman work? A policeman works in a police station. And if you have any danger or threat, you can call 100, dial 100 to call a police station. So the policeman helps us from thieves and other dangerous situations. Next, we have the fireman. Where do you find this fireman? Fireman works in a fire station. And what is the duty of this fireman? Fireman helps us to put out fire if there is any fire in our neighborhood. They come in a red fire engine. So you can see in this picture a red fire engine and to call in the to call a fire station you can dial 101. So dial 101 to call a fire station and the fireman helps us from fire if there is any fire in our neighborhood. Next we have doctors and nurses. So doctors and nurses help us when we are sick and where do these people work? They work in a hospital. So whenever we fall sick, we visit a hospital and a doctor. In the hospital, you can see ambulance. When we are unwell, they take us in an ambulance. So you can call 102 to call an ambulance. So if you dial 102, you will be able to call an ambulance when you are unwell or sick. You might have noticed the word ambulance written in a reverse order. You know why? Because the people who is driving in front of the ambulance can see through the mirror the word ambulance written properly and they can give way to the ambulance. That is why the word ambulance is written in a mirror writing. So these are the different types of places of emergency. So we learned about different landmarks and places of emergency. Now let's learn how to keep our neighborhood clean and green. We learned about our neighborhood and neighbors. So how should we keep our neighborhood? Should we throw all the waste into other people's houses? No, we should not do that. We should keep our place clean as well as other people's place also clean. Only then our neighborhood will be clean. So you should not throw waste papers on the road because it becomes dirty. This is not the way to dispose waste. So where should you dispose waste? You should dispose it in the dustbin. So we should dispose the garbage properly. Only then we'll be able to make our neighborhood clean and green. So dispose the waste in the dustbin. Also by recycling, we can considerably reduce the amount of waste. What do you mean by recycling? Suppose the used bottles and all can be made into a beautiful pen holder, pencil holder, etc. Or you can make different crafts out of used bottles. By doing so, you will be able to reduce the amount of waste. So that is recycling, recycling the used products again and again. So by recycling, we can reduce the amount of waste and thus keep our neighborhood clean and green. And also, plant more trees in our neighborhood so that it becomes more clean and green and also we should take care of the plants that we have planted. So with this we finish our chapter. We learned about the different landmarks. We learned about the neighbors and neighborhood and the places of emergency. Now let's move on to our exercises. You can take page number 32 in the social studies textbook. Page number 32, you have a picture. Now let's read it. The first picture you can see, Aparna woke up at night to drink water as she was thirsty. So what did Aparna do? She woke up in night to drink water. She was so thirsty and so, and so she woke up to drink water. The second picture you can see, she heard a noise and saw a thief breaking into a neighbor's house. And what did she see then? She heard a noise and saw a thief 
breaking into a neighbor's house. So, Aparna saw a thief getting into her neighbor's house. So, who is a neighbor? A person who is living nearby us. So, Aparna saw a thief getting into her neighbor's house. Third picture, she immediately told her father who called the police by dialing 100. So, Aparna ran and called her father. And what did her father do? Her father called 100. And he called the police by dialing the number 100. In the fourth picture, you can see the police caught the thief and came to thank Aparna and her father. And the police was able to catch the thief. So this is about neighbors and the places of emergency. Now you have a question there. Let's get started. What number did Aparna's dad dial to call the police? So you can write it there, over the space provided. Next page number 36, we have checkpoint. Draw a smiley for the pictures that will make a neighborhood clean and green. You have pictures and you have to draw a smiley which makes our neighborhood clean and green. In the first picture, you can see a girl looking after the flowers and in the second picture you can see the girl plucking the flowers. So what should you do to make our neighborhood clean and green? Tick the correct option. In the second picture you can see a person throwing waste on the road and the next picture you can see the person disposing the garbage on the truck. So which is correct you can tick it. Next exercises. Who am I? The first question, I am a vehicle, I carry sick people to the hospital. There is a red cross on me, I am an dash. So based on these points, you have to write who is that. Second question, I work in a fire station. When there is a fire, I go in a fire engine to put out the fire. I am a dash. Third, I work in a police station. I protect people from thieves and other dangers. I am a dash. Fourth, I cut and sell meat and chicken in the market. I am a dash. So pause the video, write the answers and we can check it once you have done it. So hope you have done. Now let's check the answers. The first question, I am a vehicle. I carry sick people to the hospital. There is a red cross on me. I am an ambulance. So in the place there you can write ambulance. I work in a fire station. When there is a fire, I go in a fire engine to put out the fire. I am a fireman. Third one, I work in a police station. I protect people from thieves and other dangers. I am a policeman. Fourth one, I cut and sell meat and chicken in the market. I am a butcher. Next, we have match the people given in row A with the vehicles given in row B. So in row A, you can see a doctor, fireman and a policeman. And in row B, you can see a police jeep, ambulance and a fire engine. So you can match row A with row B. Moving on to the next page, 38. Sarah is in class 2. She knows about the shops found in a market, but sometimes she mixes up their names. Help her make the correct choice by ticking the right answer. So Sarah is studying in grade 2, but sometimes she gets mixed up with the names of people found in the market and we need to help her. So the first question, Sarah's grandmother is sick. She needs some medicines. Sarah must go to the butcher's or chemist's shop. So whichever is correct, you can tick the correct option. Second one, the teacher wants all the children to get a new drawing book. Sarah must go to the grocery or stationery shop. Third one, Sarah's birthday is on next Sunday. She wants her mother to take her to the butcher's or baker shop to order her birthday cake. Fourth one, there's no milk to make tea for the guests. Sarah's father must get some milk from the milk booth or pharmacy. So tick the correct option and once you have done, you can check the answers. Now let's check the answers. The first one, Sarah's grandmother is sick. She needs some medicines. 
Sara must go to the butcher's or chemist shop. You get medicines from a chemist shop. Second one, the teacher wants all the children to get a new drawing book. Sarah must go to the stationery shop. Stationery shop is where we get writing materials like books, pen, pencils, etc. Third one, Sarah's birthday is on next Sunday. She wants her mother to take her to the butcher's or baker shop. It is baker shop where she can buy a birthday cake. Fourth one, there is no milk to make tea for the guests. Sarah's father must get some milk from the milk booth. Now let's see the next question. Think it over. Why is it important to have good relations with our neighbors? Give two reasons. We should be kind and friendly towards other people who are our neighbors. And we should help each other. So you can write two reasons why we should maintain a good relation with our neighbors. Next, we have the activity corner. Dial in emergency. Collect phone numbers of your local police station, fire station, hospital, and other places such as a grocery and chemist shop. Keep these numbers with you in case of an emergency. So you have to collect the numbers of police station, fire station, hospital and other places like grocery, chemist shop. And you need to keep these numbers with you. Second one, life skills. Do you know all the landmarks of your neighborhood? With the help of your parents, find out the names of these landmarks. Note them down in your diary and keep them with you. If you are ever lost, you can mention some landmarks to the police. They will help you find your way back home. So this is an activity for you to do. You have to find the landmarks that are there in your neighborhood. Find out all the landmarks and write it down in your notebook. And with this, we finish our chapter, our neighborhood. We'll be meeting in the next class. Till then, thank you.